So over here you can see that I got three layers and then if I want to apply out blur effect on each one of these layers then I can easily do so. So let's say the um, layer at the back I want to apply a blur effect to it. So I'm just going to go around over here and then select out the layers uh, over here on the right side. And what you have to be sure while you um, before you apply out blur effect is uh, you need to make sure it is a bitmap layer. So to do that, you can go around and right click and then go to apply effect. And over here, you can see blur is an option. And once you click on this, uh, you can see that you get the radius level. So you can select out the level on how much, uh, let's say, uh, radius you want to apply the blur level as. So I'm just going to go around and let's say I'm going to go around and add in five radius right here. And you can choose around the quality as well. So uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm just going to go for a high quality right here. You can preview it out over here as well. So this is how it will seem right here. And you can see that you can go around preview it out right here. And you can also notice the difference between the low quality right here and the high quality as you can see right here. The difference is very uh, like subtle right here, but in high quality, the blur is much more refined. So now once you're happy around with the uh, the blurriness level, you can press OK right here uh, and it says the artwork may be cropped so you can just press OK and here you can see the blurred out layer right here. Similarly, I'm going to go around and add in a blur to the upper layer over here as well. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to, uh, uh, let's say I'm going to apply effect onto it and uh, add in blur over here. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to, let's say, preview this and you can see that this is how it looks. I'm just going to go around and buff up the radius of the blur and preview that uh, that out. So you can see that there's more blur. So let me just press OK and it says convert to bitmap layer because this is not a bitmap layer as uh, um, you saw the same settings over here while we're, we were converting out the first layer as well. So let me just press OK and this is what you have. So now you can see the background right here and you can see the foreground right here and this and you can see that it creates kind of like a depth right here and that is what blur can be used for uh, as well. So that is how you can add in depth and details to your storyboard, um, uh, storyboard pro. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.